Just a few million years after the Big Bang, the universe was almost completely uniform. No stars, planets or galaxies had formed yet. In this simulation of the early universe, the green that we see is only gas. Initially, this gas permeates the universe as it traces the distribution of invisible dark matter. As the gas collapses at the center of denser areas, galaxies are born. Each of these tiny spinning wheels is a protogalaxy. In this simulation, when stars initially form in the galaxies, they are blue, and as they age, they turn red. It is also in these protogalaxies that the seeds of the first massive black holes form. We think that these seeds may range in mass from 100 to 100,000 times the mass of the Sun. Over time, the galaxies grow larger either by acquiring mass from the surrounding cosmic web, shown here as a green thick filament, or by merging with other galaxies. During a merger, the two galaxies collide, are stripped of mass, and eventually become a larger galaxy. At the time of a merger, many stars form, often condensing in bulges at the center of the galaxy. Massive black holes evolve in the same way as their galaxies, they absorb mass from the center of the galaxy or participate in mergers. In fact, black holes merge when the cores of the two original galaxies become one. When mass is drawn into a black hole, some of it is converted into energy that is then radiated away as light. In this phase, we say that galaxies have an active galactic nucleus. The radiation of active galactic nuclei is not visible in this simulation. After 13 billion years of simulated time, this galaxy, similar to the Milky Way, contains about 50 billion stars. The total mass, including dark matter, is about 1000 billion times the mass of the Sun. The mass of the black hole in the center is about 4 million solar masses. This simulation depicts our best knowledge to date of how interactions between matter and black holes form galaxies similar to our own.